I forgot to install these. How's it going, Tom? What's up, Crammy? Just another night, yep, just another night. Yeah, the latest episode of Dexter was pretty good. It was definitely a little slow in the beginning, uh, but man, it ended with some potentially great stuff. I honestly don't know. Like, I have no idea how Dexter is going to end. If I, if I thought that this series was going to continue, after this uh season then i would probably have some different uh ideas of how it's going to finish but i really don't know because if it really truly is the final season of dexter i don't know i see it being i see it being pretty dark in the outcome but i don't know it's going to be crazy How is the night going for you, Crammy and Tom? Yeah, I mean, that's what I was like, it's considered like a mini series. And then I think I saw like an interview or heard or something, the showrunner talking about how this series is like the conclusion to Dexter that uh, he always wanted or, or a fitting conclusion to the Dexter series. Because I believe the showrunner for this Dexter New Blood is the showrunner for the first four seasons, um, but not for the last couple of seasons. So uh, it's kind of like his chance to kind of redeem the first four seasons. So I don't know if that really is like the, a true statement and it really is a standalone one single season, then it's going to, like you said, all hell is going to break loose. But I feel like it's popular. But I have absolutely no evidence to support that. I just have a feeling that the show is getting good reviews, good reception from the audience. So I have to assume it's doing well on Showtime. And it's not like Showtime has like a million different things that people talk about. So if they have a hit, they're probably going to want to keep it going. My computer is frozen. Okay. Well, I believe I'm still streaming just fine. Nothing on my computer is working currently, so that's interesting.
Yeah, Gremlins 2 was super fun. It honestly didn't even really feel like a movie. It it felt exactly kind of like how we described it, which a bunch of people suggested showing us or us watching that Key and Peele uh, sketch on it. And I, it, that's such a good little sketch because it's exactly what the movie is like. It's literally a bunch of writers and everyone got to do whatever they want. No one said no to a single idea. So they're like, well, there's too much crazy stuff to do to actually have a real movie. So let's just have a bunch of different scenes of just wacky shit. But it was fun. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that that gremlin was pretty seductive. <laughs> that gremlin, hey, maybe it's five foot tall, or, or you just got to get it a potion to get that gremlin to be five feet. Yeah, I don't know. I I feel like uh, they're I feel like they're doing such a good job with Deb, in the show. That I could see them bringing back other characters in a similar way that they're using Deb to either like antagonize Dexter or Harrison. What's up, Loner? How's it going? The Hulk Hogan appearance was super ridiculous. I mean, I should have noticed how crazy the movie was going to be. Um when they had like the critic for the first Gremlins, like the fact that they acknowledge that Gremlins is a movie in the movie, that's like, okay, they're not gonna take this serious. Which it, it's great, like you don't need to take it serious. Could have been Tom, could have been. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with yay. That's, I mean, that's got to be like an age old. I mean, that discussion's probably been happening since that movie came out. But it clearly takes place on or around Christmas. Yet there's very little to no mentions. I mean, there are some scenes and dialogues with like, oh, freaking Christmas. I'm climbing through air ducts on Christmas or whatever it is. So it clearly takes place on or around Christmas. And then that's just, I I feel like a subjective point of view. If a movie takes place during Christmas in the movie, is that enough for it to be considered a Christmas movie? Like, or does it have to be something central of the plot related to the fact that it is Christmas in order to it? If you have like a movie that's set on Thanksgiving, but it has absolutely nothing to do about Thanksgiving, would people say that that's a Thanksgiving movie? Because the only Thanksgiving movie I know of is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. But the whole point of that movie is to get home for Thanksgiving. So it's like part of the plot. So I don't know. Let's see here. Okay. Hopefully I'm still here. Yeah, that's another really good kind of meta moment. Because I remember commenting on that on the first film. Um, that... I mean, that movie was way more violent and dark than we anticipated going in. We just totally thought it was a kid's movie. Uh, so that was quickly changed. But even that moment was so out of the, like, out of place, I guess, for how dark the rest of the movie was. Like, that was just such, like, a, what the hell? Like, I feel like it had no real impact on the story whatsoever other than just a super dark moment. And then the movie kept going. 
So the fact that they like acknowledged how ridiculous that was from the first film and made a joke about it in the second film, that was that was really funny. And I honestly didn't even get it right away. Like Sam started laughing way before I did. I was like, I don't what are they doing here? Like I thought she was referencing something specific with her story. So like I was quickly trying to like race through my mind, like, what the heck is she even in like making a joke about? And then I just didn't even put it together that she was literally just making a joke about her scene from the previous movie. That's a pretty good point, Tom. It's almost like it's a good argument to say Die Hard is a Christmas movie. That way you get like a really funny and cool action movie as opposed to just seeing the elf for like the 50th time, even though I love elf. Yeah, is that uh, Die Hard 3 with Sam Jackson? Uh, I, I commute to an office. Ooh, no, I've only played a little, I wanted to play the whole campaign on Twitch, but I, I just didn't really have any time. So I've only played a little bit of the campaign and I was only playing it on heroic, which was still kicking my butt, man, my, I'm way better at Halo multiplayer, which I just got into diamond rank on on the multiplayer. Um, but I'm way better at multiplayer than I am at the campaign. So I was getting my, my butt handed to me. Um, but I love the campaign so far. Like I've, uh, especially like the intro cutscene. There's so many great cutscenes. I honestly almost like cried at certain points and I've only played it like the campaign for like an hour, hour and a half or something. Um, so I was like watching a bunch of people like, like play through and looking at the reactions to those scenes. But now I can't watch anymore because I don't want to spoil anything. I feel like I might have gotten something spoiled, but I do a pretty good job of like, if I see something, I can kind of like convince myself that it's either someone just trolling or maybe it's not true or how that like situation comes about it could still be a shock or something like that. So uh, there's a ton of the campaign that I have no idea what the heck happens yet, but I'm loving it so far. So I don't know. I really, I really need to beat that campaign and I need to beat it quickly so that I can enjoy other people's playthroughs as well as like not be afraid of spoilers. Uh, she's doing good. She'll be on uh, pretty soon. She'll just come on. We'll just chat for a little bit. I don't know if we're going to play anything tonight or not. Um, had a long day. So, but at least uh, she'll, she'll definitely be coming on. Nice. A bag of jerky. I had a secret Santa. Not a secret Santa. Um, what is it called? Uh, it's like the one, it's like the game that you play where you can steal other people's gifts. I'm blanking on the name, but um, we did that where you could like steal other people's gifts, and I ended up with a freaking blow up clown. It's like a punching bag clown that you can just like punch and it comes back. Um, so a coworker just took it. I just gave it to a coworker, and because uh, he has a couple of kids, and then he showed me a video. And the kids were having a blast with it. So I was like, okay, that's much better than what I'm, I'm not going to get anything out of this clown. Other than it would probably scare me at like the middle of the night, some night, if I'm walking out for some water. Yeah, we got to watch Die Hard 3. I know of that scene, but I haven't seen that movie. Yeah. I still do that. I try to use the grapple way too much. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I 100% will beat it. Nice, sweet and spicy jerky.
Arachnophobia, it, it wasn't necessarily the scariest movie. It definitely creeped me out the most, but also it really helped that I just genuinely loved that movie. I thought it was super funny and clever um, and just kind of like a little hidden gem because I honestly have never heard of that movie um, until Sam and I had this channel and we had people like reach out and be like, oh, I heard you're scared of spiders. You should check this movie out. And um, so I was just shocked with how good the movie is because I was like, man, how have I never heard of this? At least heard of it. I mean, there's so many movies that we've seen on the channel like we haven't seen. But I'm obviously aware of them. Like, I'm obviously aware of the Godfather trilogy. Uh, but we just never saw it until we saw it on the channel. But Arachnophobia was, like, just totally out of nowhere. So it helped that the movie was really good. In terms of the scariest movie, I really don't know. I would have to look through all of the movies that we've seen. Honestly, it might be Candyman. That could have been the one that... That really scared us. Candyman or maybe even um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, the spider gremlin. Surprisingly, it wasn't that creepy. It honestly helped that it looked more like a gremlin than a spider. Yeah, John Goodman was great in Arachnophobia. Yeah, that's the outro to Candyman is probably one of uh, our favorites, Sam, Sam and I's favorite. Because we were, that's, I mean, you could tell, like, we were just genuinely, we were so freaked out and freaking each other out that we just, like, couldn't stop laughing yeah i mean that whole movie was super fucked up not not as much uh loner because i feel like there's a difference between a normal spider and a fake spider. So like the gremlin spider looked more like a gremlin than a spider. So it wasn't that terrifying. Uh, Shelob, that's how you pronounce it correctly. Um, it was just gigantic. So it's like a little unrealistic. So it's kind of the same thing with like eight legged freaks. Is that the name? Eight crazy legs. I think it's eight legged freaks, but that movie, um, those are like real spiders, but they're like blown up to almost a comical size. So as stupid as that is, I'd be way more afraid. Like if I saw like a spider that was the size of like a quarter or like a, a you know, big coin or whatever, dollar coin. Um, if I saw it like in my room and then it like went underneath like the desk or something or behind the bed or something like that's way terrifying like that just ruins my whole day night like if i see a spider in the room and then i lose it in the room like that's i'm gonna be freaked out for days or weeks but if i saw like a giant spider the size of a car walking down the street i would like probably look out the window and be like damn that's a big spider and then that's about it so it's almost like the scariest spider for me is the most realistic spider which is arachnophobia because that was just normal spiders, just a fuck ton of them. Oh, nice. Saw Jeff Bridges' band. Yeah. Um, My Cousin Vinny is a pretty old reaction. It's funny because, I mean, we, we said it in our community post and then we said it in the comments or in a pinned comment on My Cousin Vinny that it was an older reaction, one of the first reactions we filmed. And um, we had we did it because we had to replace, I believe, Scream 2. I believe Scream 2 was on on our schedule 
and we had almost no time to pivot to something else so we had to use a reaction that was already filmed um so it just happened to be that so that was a very old reaction and man it sure did cause a lot of people to comment that uh that we had seen joe pesci on the channel before but in reality when we watched my cousin Vinny, it was before any movie with joe pesci in it that we saw so even the pinned comment and a comment about it in the community post wasn't enough but that's okay it's not like those comments are bad or anything it was just funny that uh so many people thought that we just 100 percent forgot that we saw casino and uh I'll see now I <laughs> whatever other movie we saw Joe Pesci in. But yeah, we do need to get to Lethal Weapon and The Karate Kid. Those are both on our list for sure. That's such a funny scene, Crammy. There's so many moments in that movie where just if people would just be a little bit more clear with what they're talking about, it would clear up so much confusion, but then that conf confusion is so hilarious. Yeah, the White Russians were actually pretty good. I mean, I think I've said it on multiple videos um, that uh, I love milk. So to have an alcoholic drink that includes milk, at least we made it with milk. We didn't make it with half and half or cream or whatever. Um, so our White Russians were definitely different than the dudes. But, uh, but it was actually pretty good. What's up, Hanover? Uh, yeah, not a giant one. Like, just webs big enough where you can just, like, feel the web, like, on your face and you try to, like, get it off. Uh, but never, like, a giant web or with, like, a spider in the web. Oh, my God, that would be terrifying. How's it going, Kays? Oh my god, there's there's a ton of funny moments uh, in The Big Lebowski. Raging Bull, yeah, Raging Bull was great with Joe Pesci, Casino, Goodfellas, thank you, thank you everyone. <laughs> um, I don't know, you might be alone, I, alone on that, Tom. I feel uh, maybe I'm just like broken. I just feel like Margot Robbie is Harley Quinn. She just does such an amazing job. I can't see anyone else doing it. There's got to be another female superhero that she would probably knock out of the park, though. Yeah, that's true, loner. I saw I saw that a bunch in the comment section. And I was like, "Oh, that makes total sense." That actually, prison. The sounds of prison reminds him of the sounds of New York, so he sleeps like a baby. Yeah, we've seen Home Alone. At least I've, I've seen enough of Home Alone. I've probably seen Home Alone like maybe twenty times in my entire life, but never the whole movie. So I've seen enough of it. I'm sure Sam has probably seen it. Yeah, I mean, everyone has their opinions. I think she knocks it out of the park. She, for me, she was like one of the only good parts of Suicide Squad. And then... Um, I enjoyed... Birds of Prey, but I feel like it, uh, I don't know. I remember walking out of the theater and being like, that was okay, but I can't really think of why. It almost feels like you could see how good of a movie it could have been, and then it just didn't hit that mark, so it kind of made you feel like, oh, shoot. Like, sometimes it's even better to see a shittier movie because you're just like, well, that was a piece of garbage. And then there's no hope for it. But I feel like Birds of Prey could have been really, really good. I have no idea what would have made it really good. But I have no like constructive criticism. Because I enjoyed everyone in that. 
So hopefully a lot of them get uh, a lot of like HBO shows or they show up in more stuff. But yeah, she knocks it out of the park for me. Yeah, Birds of Prey, I don't know. It had potential, and it, but it just didn't hit perfectly. It, it, I feel like it was weird. I feel like I didn't have a lot of expectation for it. And then I saw the trailer, and I was like, this is a great trailer. And I think the trailers were great. Um, and then the reviews came out, and the reviews were, like, stellar. I was like, holy shit, like, this movie's getting crazy reviews. So I think I just went in with too high expectations. Yeah, I don't know. We've never really done brand new movies. Dexter is the most, like, current thing that we have on the channel. And we are about to do The Witcher Season 2. Um, so we all have current TV shows, but we've never done, like, a movie. And we were hesitant about that. We We watched and recorded our reaction to Wonder Woman... 1984 and we just put the full length up and I was going to edit it but it was a longer movie so I'm thinking it was probably going to take like somewhere between seven to nine hours to edit and then I didn't have that time anymore so I was like fuck like I don't have the time to edit this we have the full length reaction we threw that up on patreon and um and I just didn't have the time. I was like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna get back to it when I have the time. And that's so I can get it up onto YouTube. Like, it won't be current. There will be a bunch of people who have already done it, but that's okay. I'll get to it when I can get to it. And before I could get to it, there was another channel that I've, I've seen a bunch. Um, I'm blanking on his name. But um, he, I believe, got a strike for it. And I was like, holy. And then, like, he made a video about it or a post or something. I was like... Damn, good thing we didn't do it because that was our first attempt to maybe do a movie that was brand new. And um, and he got a strike and I was like, OK, I'm not even going to touch it. I'm not even going to take the chance to try to get this on YouTube. And that was the, the only time that we almost did a brand new movie. I wanted to do Justice League, Zack Snyder's Justice League, which I still haven't seen. But I was like, not only do I need four hours of time, four plus, it would probably honestly take closer to five hours to film a reaction to that movie, but I'm going to need like freaking 10 to 15 hours to edit it. Like it might take me two days to edit this movie and just again, never had the time. So I never got that. Same thing with the Suicide Squad. Really wanted to get that up on the channel. I wanted to get that up on the channel and then maybe um, do the Peacemaker TV show. Cause that looked really cool. Um, again, just didn't have the time. So there's been multiple times where we wanted to do new current movies and just didn't have the time to fit it into the schedule. Um, but it still seems tricky. I don't see a lot of people get their videos pulled. I don't see a lot of people get strikes um, other than that one time with Wonder Woman. So I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be a time. Well, not really. Because actually, that's I feel like that's starting to fade away. Like, we wanted to do maybe Ghostbusters Afterlife, but it wasn't available to stream. So I feel like as we get out of COVID, which are we ever going to at this point? But um, it feels like less and less movies will be streaming right away that are also in theaters at the same time. So I don't know. We might not just get a chance to do new movies. Uh, let me get through all the comments, Loner, and then I will go over the revised schedule after our little content copyright claim fiasco. Pig. Pig by Nick Cage looks good. And I actually just saw the trailer for the new Nick Cage movie that's about Nick Cage himself. And it actually looked really fucking funny and good. Yeah, I've, everything I've heard was people enjoying the Sonic movie.
Yeah, I can see that, Tom. Sometimes you just expect it to be better than it is. And then it just doesn't hit the mark. And then you feel even worse about it. If sometimes if you go into a movie just thinking it's going to be absolute dog shit and then it surprises you, you're like, oh, that was cool. But if you have high hopes for something and it lets you down, that's a way worse feeling. How's it going, Augie Bumpkin? Yeah, especially in newer movies. I don't know. Until reaction channels become a lot more mainstream or like clear rules and stuff. Like, new movies just seems a little dangerous. Yeah, I know a lot of people are excited for Sonic 2. Uh, I know there's a lot of issues with movie trailers. I don't think they typically take them down, but I think a lot of them get claimed. So a lot of people who do, like, movie trailer reactions, um, they don't get any, like, revenue or anything like that from reacting to movie trailers. Because typically a movie trailer will have like a lot of music in it. And it seems to always just get screwed. Uh, I don't think I've seen Death Wish. Is that the Quentin Tarantino one? I'm Actually, I may have seen the Quentin Tarantino, if that's what Death Wish is. But I doubt Sam's seen it. Bully Maguire was funny. That was definitely some funny comedy. I'm, I'm a fan of Jim Carrey for sure. Yeah, Sam is in the house. Uh, yeah, uh, next week we will be watching uh, Chingo All the Way and Krampus. And technically, we're going to go ahead and say that Die Hard 2 was a Christmas movie and Gremlins is a Christmas movie at heart. <laughs> Oh, okay. Then I, I don't, I don't think I've seen, seen that, Tom. Death Proof. Yeah, I was thinking of Death Proof. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go on stream intermission real quick, change the chair out real quick, and then uh, Sam and I will chat for a while. Be right back. Hello. Hi, Tom.
Yeah, excited for Jing all the way for sure. Yeah, no, for sure. It's going to be good. I am tired. I'm wearing almost no makeup, too. <laughs> it's been a long work day. My favorite Arnold movie would probably be uh, True Lies. I agree. I think True Lies is my favorite Arnold movie. Yeah. I think. I did really like um, the Terminator films, though. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, so we enjoyed so many Arnold movies. Yeah, no, for sure. That's why I'm super excited for Jingle All the Way. Yeah. Oh, The Running Man. I always forget how much I enjoy The Running Man. You did. Uh, never seen any of them, Kays. Those will never be on YouTube after they uh, destroyed Vicuña's channel. Yeah, but I haven't seen any. But I do know that they're great, and I would, if I had more free time, it would definitely be on my list to just enjoy on my own. Thanks, Marcus. Yeah, Gremlins 2 was, it was just so fun. chaotic. Predator is super good, too. Yeah, see, there's I like there's yeah, just so many. Yeah, there's so many good Arnold movies. That was really fun. That was like a fun series. I liked it a lot. Thanks, Tom. No need to apologize. Oh, that's I'm glad, Augie. We've had a ton of fun just doing it. Yeah, thank you. Amanda was good. It's it's hard. I don't know if I could pick one. Yeah, which... it's hard. To, I mean, True Lies, I think, is the one, but it would be hard to like rank them. Yeah. I like and I I don't think there was anyone that I didn't really even like. An Arnold movie? Yeah, like that I could pinpoint as like. I feel like probably Red Heat was probably your least favorite. The least favorite. It definitely had some really funny moments in it. Yeah, but I think overall it was definitely yeah. not one of the stronger ones. Yeah. I I probably would agree with that actually. I just think True Lies is just peak action and comedy and acting. Yeah, I mean then Jamie Lee Curtis, like, yeah, it had I, a great cast. and Because there's definitely times when you can watch an Arnold movie and you just have to, like, turn off your brain sometimes in terms of his acting ability. Yeah. Um, but in True Lies, he just nails every scene. And then the action is incredible because it's James Cameron. Yeah, it's okay if Jingle All the Way isn't, like the best Arnold movie. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's been a while since we've seen an Arnold film, so I'm excited to yeah. see another film, Arnold film. Especially since um, we never really had any issues with any Arnold movies. No. So it was such a bummer. We were on such a like an exciting role with Rambo and Rambo 2. And then... Uh, we were about to do Cliffhanger. We were just about to do Cliffhanger. And then with the whole Paramount attack, it just... Destroyed Rambo 2, and then Cliffhanger is a Paramount movie, so we had to cancel that for the time being. Yeah. So it's just like, dang it, we were on such a, a high doing uh, Stallone movies. Yeah. And then it just kind of left like a little sour taste in my mouth. So going back to Arnold is going to like, it feels It'll like... Be nice. Yeah, it feels like going back to like something comforting. Yeah. Demolition. Um, I don't know. Like, I honestly thought the seashells, I, like, pictured them being more, like, buttons. Yeah. And they were, like, maybe, like, a bidet or something like that. But then I did see some people commenting that they thought maybe they were, like, actually used to, like, scoop. Um, so, I don't know. I thought they were, like, buttons, though, for some kind of device. Yeah, that's what I... 
think would make the most sense is that they're they're buttons to operate a bidet. Yeah. Um, because that's gotta just tear your asshole apart trying to use <laughs> seashells. Instead of toilet paper. Yes. Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, she was so good in that. I honestly haven't seen a lot of, what? I don't know, maybe just movies in general. Oh, okay. I was like, was Arnold in a Batman movie? Oh, he would probably, was, yeah, he was uh, Mr. Freeze, I believe. Oh. Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of Batman films. Um, yeah, anything before Christian Bale, I don't think I've seen. Yeah. I've, I've maybe seen parts of, oh man, not Val Kilmer, not George Clooney. The other one, gosh, not Adam West. I always blank on his name, and he's a, a super famous actor who's currently in things. Ben Affleck? No, he's older now. Oh my god, Keaton, Michael Keaton. Jeez oh. Louise. I've probably seen. Thanks, Augie. <laughs> yeah, I've probably seen parts of Michael Keaton Batman. I haven't seen anything. With like, I think, believe, like, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Okay. I you think I've probably seen, seen... Yeah, I think I've seen her. So maybe I have seen, like, on TV or something. Yeah, but I honestly have never seen... I could, like, confidently say I've never seen any Batman movie before Christian Bale from start to finish. So that would be really cool. I would love to go through the, like, classic Batman... At least the Michael Batman. Keaton ones. Yeah. Um, cliffhanger, I think, I think there may be distribution might be paramount or something. I don't know. We looked and, or is Columbia owned by paramount or there was like some connection. Somewhere down the line. Yeah. It gets pulled up to paramount, I believe. Yeah. So we could not, it was supposed to already be up. Um, oh, it was supposed to go up this week. That just passed. Cliffhanger was supposed to go up. And we watched Gremlins 2 instead. Dang, that's crazy, Augie. Oh. Up here. Bounces at a hectic bar. I'm glad the videos can bring some some decompression. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we definitely uh I mean we we like we like our reactions and, and it's just genuine and, and and we I feel like more than others we try to like dissect and predict what's going on as we watch something but I, I have seen a lot of comments that are like we're definitely a little bit more mellow than some other reactions so i'm glad that that serves a purpose <laughs> into, into chilling the night after a crazy night i do like uh like getting to talk about the films after too. Yeah, that's why we love the outro so much because it gives us the best opportunity to talk about stuff when you can't really do it constantly over the movie. So Trading Places was also supposed to be on the channel already. Um, but it is a Paramount film. Yeah, wasn't that also a Christmas movie too? Yeah. So, you know, so we got we really had to pivot after that after that night so yeah so all the scream films um trading places and cliffhanger all got pulled from our schedule yeah we were gonna do every scream film leading, leading up, up to, to scream five scream five and i was super excited about the halo tv show but that's on paramount plus so i'm like there's no way in hell after we got like just claimed all day long by Paramount. There's no way we're doing a Paramount TV show. No. So maybe things will change in the future. We still have a strike on our channel. We haven't been able to get in communication with anyone to get that removed. And um, so that won't expire until sometime in March. So if we can't get that removed before March, we would have to just kind of wait until after it expires before we're willing to kind of um, go back into stuff that we know has been an issue on the channel. Ah, uh, that makes sense. 
Um... Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. Dang. Shoot, we should have started there. Well, maybe if we still have our channel next Christmas. <laughs> should we wait until yeah, to we'll, do Batman next year? We'll wait to, we'll lead up to Batman Returns. Deer Hunter ending was so depressing. Like, I... I don't know. That whole movie, I mean, we talked yeah. about it a lot, but that whole movie was just weird the entire time. It never felt comfortable. Like, the the lives that everyone had, the relationships with each other, obviously the crazy torture scenes, and uh, it just was, the whole was movie was dark. just dark. Yeah. So, I, I guess it ends as happy as it could. For how terrible the situation everything was. Wrath. I've heard of that. Yeah, unfortunately, also YouTube doesn't have like a clear, well, one, they don't have clear rules, but two, there's not like a clear way to get a hold of anybody. Yeah, I honestly think the email, I mean, that's all we got was just an email. And I emailed immediately. Haven't gotten anything back since. Um, so they just give you an email. And I, I honestly feel like this email is, doesn't even exist. I mean, I know it exists, but. Like it didn't get shot back, but. There's no way that that is. It a, didn't, it wasn't, it clearly was not an email from Paramount. Maybe third party company or a lawyer or. So that's it. You do. You don't get an ad like a mailing address. You don't get a telephone Phone number. Yeah. You don't get a name of the company or anything. You just get a generic email, and that's your only chance. So yeah. if they don't want to respond to your email, that's it. You're just never going to hear back. There's no other way to try to contact them. So it, that's the worst part about it for sure. Uh, we don't have a plan after Stallone yet. We've kind of inadvertently started a De Niro series. Yeah, we've kind of <laughs> gone through a bunch of uh, Scorsese, De Niro, and Joe Pesci films without even really trying. Yeah, so but we're really enjoying those. So, um, hey, what's up, a big guy? I don't know. Hey. And thanks, Tom. Yeah, we'll stay positive. I mean, we'll keep the channel going for as long as we can. Um, yeah, we, we love it. We enjoy it. Um, so, fingers crossed. Yeah, I mean, we dealt with way more, like, little claims here or there in the beginning of the channel. And we still kept things going. So, yeah. it'll all be fine. But yeah, um, I've had a lot of people say uh, Jackie Chan would be cool. Okay. To after Stallone, or a really good one that I didn't even think it was Keanu Reeves. Okay. Because there's so many Keanu Reeves movies that we've probably never seen. Yeah, I really, I've seen John Wick, and then I'm like pretty sure I've seen the first Matrix. Which is the best Matrix. Yeah. Um, Not that I even remotely appreciated it, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. You probably saw it when you were in I high saw it when school I was, or something. Yeah, whenever it came out, I saw it probably... I saw it when I was, like, young. Like, I think I was pretty young, and I just remember being like... Whatever. Yeah. So, maybe something to rewatch re or... Yeah, no. Keanu would be cool. And there's... Because you've never seen the Rush Hour movies. No. Which blows my mind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're up here. His beard is fake. Oh man, I'm gonna have to take another. Yeah, look I'd have at to it. take another look, Crammy. Warrior, I've seen Warrior. That's a great movie. You love Tom Hardy. Yeah, I love Tom Hardy. I've never seen Warrior. Van Damme. I feel like there's probably a couple of good Van Damme movies to watch. Who's that? Um, 
John Claude Van Damme. Um, I don't know if you've seen him in anything. Cool. He's a like a martial artist, pretty much. But he's like an action star, just like Stallone and uh, oh, Arnold. Hey, thanks, Grammy. I don't know who this is. Jean-Claude Van Damme. What movies are you in? Yeah, no, there's. I don't think there's any chance you've ever seen him in a movie. Okay, so he was in Expendables, which is the one that has, like, all of them, right? Yeah. It's a lot of, like, obviously kickboxing movies. He was supposed to be the Predator. It's weird that he has a credit or that that pulls up on yeah. Predator. Going to be in the new Minions film? I guess. I literally... I've never seen a single one of these movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would, I would want to watch Bill and Ted. For sure. For Keanu. Bloodsport, Kickboxer. Yeah, it's just like classic action movies with Van Damme. The Wait, lake. I have seen The Lake House. Oh, that's Cam. How's it going, Cam? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Cam? Yeah, I mean, Matrix. the first Matrix is one of my favorite movies. I've seen a handful of Patrick Swayze movies. But yeah, like Speed. Have you seen Speed? No. Yeah, that's a great... Speed, Point Break, Bill and Ted... These are all great Keanu movies that I haven't even seen. Swayze. Uh, you know what would also be cool? Shoot, who's the name of the guy in Big Trouble in Little China? Oh, uh... Kurt Russell, Kurt right? Russell, yeah. Going through some more Kurt Russell movies would be cool. Yeah, we've kind of gone through a handful. Without, but, yeah. Yeah, not too many. Like three or something, Escape from New York, The Thing, and Big Trouble in Little China. All John Carpenter, mm -hmm. which we still have to go through some more John Carpenter movies. Mm -hmm. Down to check out Warrior. Yeah, I haven't heard of any of those. Yeah. We are have plenty of options to move forward with. Not seen Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko's an interesting one. How's it going, DNA Zen? What's up? Tombstone, yeah, I think Tombstone has Kurt Russell in it. Okay. Which honestly, I think Tombstone's coming. Yeah. Am I doing weird things with my face tonight? Because <laughs> I'm so tired and I can't see <laughs> blind. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna start doing some westerns for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tombstone won the western poll. Oh, I gotta put a new poll. I which we've, yeah, those polls might have finished. Up. Which yeah, if uh, we might need to swap one of those. Fortunately. Oh right, we're gonna have to double. We're gonna have to double film. We can put something up on Patreon and then it might, second place. Yeah, I might still. We'll get it up on Patreon still, at least a full length, but freaking Paramount. You have recommendations, Cam, for super old Westerns. I looked up, like, when we did the poll, I did, um, 
I looked up like top Western lists and there was like, like very much like new Westerns and like old ones. So on the poll, I did a mixture of both. Um, I tried to do like half and half, but let us know. Yeah, pretty much a big guy. We pretty much went through all of the movies we had on our schedule and removed anything that's Paramount or potentially Paramount related. For um, now, at least. For now, just because... We do have a strike on the channel and we know for a fact that we've never gotten more claims or strikes for anything uh, or Paramount has given us the most claims and strikes. So we're just trying to avoid ruffling any feathers while we have, while the claims on the channel still while the, yeah, while the strikes on the channel the still. Strike. I'm sorry. So once that's gone, then maybe we'll bring Paramount back into the mix, but they will be much more heavily edited maybe than other reaction videos. Whether I just have to cut more out or I have to eliminate a ton of the audio or whatever it is, but clearly want to do what's necessary to make sure Paramount doesn't get upset again. Quickly down under. I don't think that one was on my list. No, I have never heard of that. Oh, bye, Crammy. Good night, Crammy. Thanks for coming, hanging out. Unforgiven's definitely on the list. I think it was on the poll, too. Yeah. I think it might have gotten second on the poll. Man with no name. Man with no name. Haven't heard of that. But it's Clint Eastwood. Okay. Or spaghetti westerns. I actually don't know what that means. I've heard the term spaghetti western, I but I don't, that. I have I don't no know what idea. that means. What is a spaghetti western? John Wayne. That would be cool, Cam. I mean, I've never seen John Wayne. Do spaghetti westerns mean that it's like a lasso? Like spaghetti? I don't know. Somebody explain to us what spaghetti westerns are. That's definitely not. That cannot be true, Aki. <laughs> All the way at the bottom. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really old, like John Wayne. That would be good. Oh, is Top Gun Paramount? Bummer. Dollars Trilogy. Uh, I believe we have that the Dollars. That was on the list, yeah. for sure. I think we put the fir whatever the first one of that trilogy is, that was on the poll. Open Range, probably. We've seen the most recent Western we've probably seen was True Grit. Um, Back to the Future 3. I mean, um, like that was made. More recent. We have not a big guy. We are very behind schedule. And we will we not be watching it in the morning. We will not be watching Contact until early tomorrow morning. And then I'll immediately go to editing it. It's a two and a half hour movie. So I'm probably looking towards Late. six to seven hours of edit time. So it's going to be up sometime Saturday late night. Yeah. For a contact. Because watching it, then starting to edit it, at some point my eyes are going to start to bleed. I'll probably have to like take a break for like an hour or two and then get back to it. So contact will be up late tomorrow night. So we are very behind. <laughs> the story of the channel. There's so many times where we get like a little bit of glimpse, like a little bit of hope that we're actually going to get ahead and then something will happen. Yeah. Like last week we were we were not feeling well. We didn't we didn't come on stream. Um and it just shot our whole weekend. Yeah. And then uh just a bunch of like work stuff, work events. I had so many work events this week. And it's not like I can film a reaction without you. Yeah. So we just the last And they were like last minute things, so it wasn't like we could plan for it. Yeah. Like I found out like week of. Yeah. So the last couple of weeks have been rough in terms of getting content out so any sort of lead that we had is now gone to the point where the movie that's going on the channel tomorrow we still haven't seen ah we'll get ahead one day is that true augie wow i just honestly thought you were just just making fun because <laughs> we would we would just blindly believe you Do people watch full episodes of Hell's Kitchen? The television show? Yeah. 
On stream? I watch Hell's Kitchen. Oh, on stream? Yeah. I like the show. So Spaghetti Westerns, the filmmakers are European. That's super interesting. Gustan, that's what I said. I thought it was a lasso spaghetti thing. Wow. I'm sorry I doubted you at all, Augie. <laughs> oh, okay. Man with a doll. Okay, okay. Hyper violent horror. Wow. Yeah, a big guy we know. So yeah turn on notifications for the channel if you want because if things get blocked <laughs> you'll at least get to watch them before they go down oh well, you learn something new every day i know now we know what a spaghetti western is Yeah, we're uh we were supposed to be moving on Sunday. Yeah, we were supposed to move this Sunday. Now that's canceled. I got exposed to COVID. You don't have COVID. No. But so you you I'm received gonna, yeah. Um like a notification that someone in your vicinity at some point in the last couple of days tested positive. Yeah. So we're not going to move, but we'll take a test in a couple of days. Just in case. Django, I love the, the Quentin Tarantino Django was great. The holidays are upon us. We should have a, a few free days and we can use those days to get ahead. Thankfully, the stuff that's going on the channel over the course of next week, nothing is really long. Mm -hmm. um, like Jingle All the Way is like an hour and 20 minute long movie or something like that. It's rough. Like sometimes when you get movies like, like The Deer Hunter, which is over three hours, when you put that in perspective, in the same time it takes to record one movie reaction, we could record three tv reactions mm -hmm. and so like if we're releasing like bly manor one a week in the time that it takes to record one movie we can record three weeks of bly manor so when you have longer movies like i used to love long movies yeah now with reactions that's like oh, now i my hate God. long if a movie is like an hour and a half long i'm like this is a perfect length movie because it means it's not going to take that long to record and it's not going to take that long to edit when I see a long movie now, it just, it bums me out so much. So Contact is like two and a half hours. I'm like, fuck me. Is it? Contact is two and a half oh. hours. So it's going to take us almost three hours to record the thing. Yeah. And it's going to take me seven to nine hours to edit it. So that's my entire Saturday oh for one goodness. movie. Oh my goodness. So sometimes you get these like, like horror films are really great. And comedies. Horror films and comedies and some, like, action movies. Yeah, to those a certain are all pretty degree. short. All these sci-fis and dramas and all that are long. They're long. What is Cam talking about? Do all content creators have done it? Are, are we talking about watching Hell's Kitchen? Well, watching Hell's Kitchen on stream. That's crazy, Cam. <laughs> so, Loner, I did have the opportunity to eat at Hell's Kitchen. Um, because I have a friend that does work in the entertainment industry, and I got stuck at work. So you couldn't go so to the... So you couldn't go. But I think that would be fun. Well, thank you for teaching us something new, Augie. We owe you. 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> Wow, Cam. Wow. Pokemon, XQC, and Alinity all watch just TV on stream. You guys watch TV with us? 
I mean, those people, they stream constantly, though. Like, they're never, like, not on stream, I feel like. <laughs> like, they have, like, like cameras in their kitchen and stuff. So they'll, like, be streaming, and it's like, oh, I'm going to go make food. And then they swap over to a camera in the kitchen. They have cameras in their backyard or their hot tubs and pools. Interesting. Thanks, Tom. Cowboys and Aliens. We haven't seen that. I don't know what that's about, but that sounds... <laughs> cowboys and Aliens. Aliens come attack some cowboys. That sounds very interesting. Oh, cool. That's a cool cameo DNA's in. <laughs> Ching All the Way is a harder movie to watch than Deer Hunter. No, it's going to be fun. We love Arnold. Yeah, it could be just pure garbage. I'll still enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Augie. Sometimes you get a longer movie that has a lot of nothing in it. That's, it's easier to edit because it's just like... It's not, it's not a bad thing. Like, one of the easiest movies to edit was like Conan. Because it was like two and a half hours or something like that. But like an hour and a half of that movie is literally just them like walking, walking or running or something. Like there's no dialogue. There's nothing really happening that's crucial to understanding the story. It's just them going from one place to the next. So you could chop out these massive uh, sections. The movies that are brutal is something like Casino, which pushes, yeah. which pushes like three hours or something and all the talking is like important yeah it's literally nothing but insane like same with the departed yeah casino all of these like scorsese ones are like this is so long and it's non-stop dialogue and everything is seemingly important yeah it becomes so hard to chop down so i'm kind of hoping that contact has a lot of just whatever scenes in it that's not a bad thing just helps me not edit my life away yeah, they keep keep all the conversations like contained yeah <laughs> thanks loner i know it was too last minute though like i was at work and they were like you have to come right now it's like uh Did not know this. Sam and I barely can read. Which comment are you looking at? <laughs> a big guy's. Oh. That it's based on a novel. Oh, yeah. No, we don't read. Everyone's like, oh, you should read the book that this is based off of or read this. And it's like, I don't even have enough time to watch anything outside of what we watch <laughs> on the channel. I don't. I definitely don't have time to crack open a book. I do love to read. There was definitely a a part of my life where I was reading every day. Um, and it mostly came with Game of Thrones. I've never liked to read and I will never pretend or say that I like to read. I hate reading. You read a little bit of Hunger Games for a little bit. Yeah. But that was like, like that was like a week. And then you're like, nope, I'm done with this. No, I don't like, I don't like reading. I've probably only read two books in my life for, for fun. Yeah, like even in school, like... I never read. I didn't read. I would do spark notes. All right, Cam, we got to do it. Yeah, we'll have a Hell's Kitchen <laughs> day. Should we, just, like... should we just do like a 24 hour stream of Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> yeah. Would you guys pop in? Say hello. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll, oh my gosh, we will for sure do that, Cam. Yeah, we do get help. Yeah, I have um, a couple editors. Yeah, I had a friend who was helping a lot um, and he was great because not only was he a better editor than me, but he was probably 
uh, appreciates movies even more than I do. So he was uh, super helpful and he did a bunch of our uh, reactions, um, but he's just super busy. So, um, and because we're so behind and he's so busy, it's not like I can give him an edit and be like, can you get this done in the next six hours? Yeah, that's the problem is if we get ahead, then we can like outsource editing because we're ahead and we can give that person the amount of time that they actually need to edit. But when we're watching things same day, like you have no choice but to edit it because yeah. we can't ask somebody to like, drop whatever they're doing and we need this today. Yeah, because he was local, so I could I would we would literally just hand him a hard drive. Um, but then we have other people who help out who um like we have to send them the files and that process by itself takes a couple hours to upload mm -hmm. and a couple hours to download. So it's the same thing where it's like if we don't get that to them fast enough, they don't even have enough time to download the files to start editing mm -hmm. before I already need to try to get it on the channel. Yeah. So the more we get ahead, the more that we can use the the Patreon money and the YouTube ad revenue and stuff to pay for editors. Yeah. Um, Cause we have had um, a couple of people reach out about editing and we've had a couple of people try a handful of edits and everyone's been amazing. Like we love that people want to edit and um, I mean, obviously we pay for it, but like want to edit and they like our channel and stuff. But the problem is that we're just so far behind. I'm so behind. Because there are really, really great editors out there. And we're super appreciative of the people that we have been able to use. Because um, we always get back awesome edits. And it's exactly what you want. Yeah. How you like things. I mean, I'm still super picky. So I still make. He does. He does go through. Like, usually it take you. Like, you'll go through about a, like an hour or so. Yes. Of movies once they come back. So the whole process is when we film it. I'll edit the full length reaction, which is pretty much the our intro discussion, our outro discussion, getting all of the, you know, chroma keying out the green screen, doing all like the little things, adjusting audio levels, whatever. Um, so I, I do the full full length edit and then I format that in a position where an editor can then take over and edit from there to trim it down. Um, and then they'll send it back and then I get that trimmed down version and then i'll trim it down even more i'll review it go through it make some changes add some scenes that maybe i wanted to make sure were included take away scenes that weren't necessary so i'm still very very picky but we've had really helpful editors and it literally just comes down to we are not ahead enough like today the dexter reaction that went up today we watched that today mm -hmm. Like we just watched that a couple of hours ago and then I was editing it this entire time. Mm -hmm. That's why we were late to come onto stream because we were waiting for that to finish uploading to YouTube. Yeah. So we're just behind. We're just behind. We really just need like one or two solid weeks and we could get like three to four weeks ahead. And then once we get ahead, it'll be pretty easy to maintain it. Yeah. But we just this whole past year, we haven't had more than one weekend in a row where we didn't have something just totally derail us. Yeah. Cam, we got to do it. Yeah, I think watching, I think also there's like a way that we can watch, um, like do a watch party. Yeah, that's something that I really want to do yeah. because we have a lot of people who want us to watch movies that we've already seen before. And, and I'm like, well, I don't want to put a reaction to that on the channel because... The whole point is first time watching yeah so we can host a watch party so and it literally like does all the work for you like it to help people sync up well i think I, I don't know if there's something that does it or if they're just have like an app or something like that where they hit like play no i think well no but i think it's like it's like a room like it's like a, a virtual room where everybody is like in watching this thing together oh. i think I think you could do that maybe with like Netflix or Amazon, yeah. or something, but like to do it on stream, like I know like Nikki and Steven, they do a lot of like watch along stuff. And like Tim, Tim just did it for his 24 hour thing where he watched Avengers and he has like a time code that pops up. So, so that you know where he's at during the film and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So that would be really cool to do on stream. So we're not showing it, you don't hear it, but you can sync up your copy 
for the time code or the spot that we're at. Yeah. And then that way we can watch stuff that we've already seen before, but with people on Twitch. But I would do Hell's Kitchen too. <laughs> but apparently, according to Cam, we could just flat out show Hell's Kitchen. And the Twitch is great, but I've I've also been debating whether or not we should be streaming on YouTube as opposed to Twitch. So I'm not going to shed a tear or anything like that if we get striked or our account on Twitch gets suspended for a couple of days or whatever. You know where to find us. Yeah. Thank you, DNA Zen. We don't have Traxy Driver on the schedule yet, but we are definitely going to do it. 100%. It is on, yeah. the, like, on the short list. Uh-oh. I hope I hope that's not true, Tom. No, um. oh, probably not. Fifty Shades of Grey is uh, just a uh, fan fiction of Twilight. I've so. never seen Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the movie is better than the book. I have not seen Ready Player One. No, we haven't seen that either. Cool. Twilight Zone, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. I would like to watch The Twilight Zone. But I feel like there's so many episodes that we can't really do like a series on it. Supernatural, 15 seasons or something crazy like that. I've heard really good things about Supernatural. I have a couple of friends that, like, were obsessed with it. Yeah, Hanover, we do have other old Patreon exclusive stuff. It was before we had our current, like, tier system. Um, so there are a few movies like uh, Annihilation, Moon, and my cousin Vinny was one. I feel like there was one more. Annihilation. Well, you did. You did that. I did some weird fucking movies. Yeah, you did that Kentucky Fried. I did Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I, then you did that. There was like this weird like Native American horror movie where there was like a demon thing growing out of the back of some lady. I didn't that, watch That movie was watch crazy. <laughs> but yeah, the, we did those in the, or in the beginning and then um, we switched up the format of patreon but like my cousin Vinny was one um and then obviously when we couldn't put up screen two we had to like pivot pretty quickly and um that was already filmed so you gotta edit that i'm jumping all the way down to the bottom yes i meant kentucky fried movie not kentucky fried chicken <laughs> all right where were we again dna zen plus one for taxi driver Yeah, I definitely, I'm excited for Taxi Driver. Yeah, let us know what you think about Dexter. I want to know your thoughts. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the Dexter yeah, season so, so far. I. I hope it ends with Dexter still alive, because I want another season. I don't think I would, if it ends with like Harrison taking over the mantle... I don't, I wouldn't watch any more with Dexter not in it, but I also would be okay if Dexter died. Yeah, if it ended, okay, that's fine. But if it ended with Dexter dying and they still wanted to continue it, no. Even though I think that kid's fantastic. I think he's doing great. I just, I'm not necessarily interested in. We're there for Michael C. Hall. Yeah, I'm, I'm there here for Michael C. Hall and that's it. So if you lose him, you lose me. You hear that? <laughs> Which is also scary because Dexter is also a Paramount show. Dexter now Showtime. Which I'm pretty sure is like own it I saw it mm. said something about Paramount Plus, like what and I was like Same with Bly. Bly? No, that's Netflix. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. It was just Dexter. Oh, interesting, Augie. Fast. I 
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Twitch gets uh, pretty uh, crazy too, right? You said it would be like uh, music and Yeah, stuff. I mean, you still can get a lot of like claims and stuff on Twitch. It's more about I like the idea of like our streams lasting more permanent on YouTube. Uh, just because I don't have the time or the computer strength really to record um, our streams and then get those up onto YouTube. So everything we've done, like I'm sure there's probably a ton of people on that are subscribed to us on YouTube who probably still don't know that we have a Twitch because we really don't advertise it. I mean, we say it in the intro and outro, but we can look at the analytics. I mean, people. The, the percentage of people who watch the intro and outro is like 2% compared yeah. to everything else. We will so, figure that for us. Yeah. So unless we like stop the movie reaction halfway through and be like, hey, everyone, we have a Twitch. Chances are not that many people see it. Um, so Which it would be. Okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. We have like our small group of friends here. Yeah. So, but it just means that. Um, the, the stuff that we've done, which I'm sure some people might enjoy, like us playing through the Resident Evil games, you playing Inside or Limbo. There might be people who really would like to watch those, but they're gone forever now. Oh, Tom, you like Fifty Shades? No, I haven't seen it. I have not Mandy. seen Mandy. No, I don't know what that is. What kind of movie is that? Who's in it? Man, I cannot read this purple font. Who is that? Can you highlight it or something? I know, right? So can see who that is? Oh, oh fish, fish eye. eye. Yeah, I mean, it, we probably would have more viewers on YouTube. Um, but for me, it's just about, like, saving the actual footage. And if we did that, though, we would put it on the secondary channel. Like, we don't want to put... We want just... TBR Schmidt to just be movie reactions, movie reactions. and TV. And maybe yeah TV and maybe a trailer here and there we haven't done them but if we decided to that would also be cool on there but we want to keep it with that like any gaming anything like that would be on a different on channel, a different channel. Yeah. yeah I think people really like Supernatural I've never seen it have not heard of Ravenous. Is that a a TV show? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I think just doing like the best of Twilight Zone would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um. The Man of Tao. That's the crazy fucking yeah. movie I yeah. saw. Fools <laughs> Russian. No. No, I don't think I've seen that. Yes, that's what it was, Hanover. Viacom owns both Showtime and Yes, Paramount. I knew they were related. Do it. Hopefully Dexter's not the death of us. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. We like doing the outros. I mean, honestly, yeah. even if we had like three people watching them, we would still do them. And I feel like it's important... Is it, it gets all of our or majority of thoughts. There's still plenty of times where we stop filming and I'm like, oh, I'm like, fuck, I wanted to talk about this. And I totally forgot because we just go straight into the outros. We don't write any notes. No, we don't do any prep or whatever. We just no. talk. Yeah. Um, that's what we do when we go see movies at theaters. Yeah. So there's definitely sometimes we miss some stuff, but um, it's one of our favorite parts. And I think it helps our videos battle or stay within that fair use. Because not only do we have an intro, not only do we have our reactions over the video, but then we have these long discussions about the actual piece itself. We don't just stop at the end of the movie and then that's it. Yeah. Oh, Nicolas Cage. Mandy's Nicolas Cage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Call you a bird, but yes. You're not alone, Tom. Plenty of pe Enough people loved those books and those movies to make it massively successful. Watch us on Twitch. Just like pop up in the center. Twitch. Link. Twitch. Twitch. Come see us. But again, like there's so many times where we're not like if, if we ever miss a Friday stream or something, if we were ahead 
on our reaction stuff, we could be like, well, we missed Friday. Let's jump on Saturday afternoon or Saturday night or whatever, or random weekday night to make up for it. But we never have time to make up for Twitch because we're always scrambling to get something onto the YouTube channel. So if if we were more consistent or more reliable on Twitch, maybe I would, we would promote it more. It's going to have to take some vacation days from work. So I know, right? Just get caught up. I honestly, we need to take like a week off, both of us at the same time, just to watch <laughs> stuff for YouTube. Yeah. Everyone at work. What are your, where are you going on vacation? My office. Right. <laughs> That's true. Dexter has been the death of many. <laughs> All right. Fools rush in. Or a cannibal movie. Jeez Louise. With some big names. Who's in? I'm looking it up. Wait, which one was this called? Ravenous. Thanks, Gusan. Salma Hayek's great. Rom-com. We should do some rom-coms. I enjoy... Oh, hey, it's the guy from... Oh. Band of Brothers. Right? Yeah. Band of Brothers. Who's the full cast? It was 7 out of 10 on IMDb. I don't know Cooper. if you guys can hear Cooper snoring. Guy Pierce, okay. Oh, Robert Carlyle. David Arquette. David Arquette. Jeremy Davies. Jeffrey Jones. Neil Mc... Whatever. Donna. There was definitely people there that I recognized for sure. Yeah. And this is... Oh, scroll up to the top. What is it considered? Adventure Horror Western. Interesting. What a yeah. category. <laughs> oh, just the office. Just sitting in front of this computer. That's, that's my life. Outside of my normal job, I sit in front of this computer the rest of the time. Either editing, watching, or playing video games. <laughs> I am crashing. I don't even know what time it is. It's only 10 18. Yeah, we'll probably have to call it sooner than later because we do have to watch contact as early as possible in the morning. Alienation, no. James Kahn and Mandy Patinkin. Wow. Those are some heavy hitters. I love Mandy Patinkin ever since we saw um, um, Princess... Princess Bride. Princess Bride. I was going to say Princess Diaries. I was going to say something Bride. I couldn't <laughs> remember what the first word was. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. James, could James Cohn pass away? I haven't seen Eraser yet. I don't think... No, James Conn's not dead. I don't think he's dead. <laughs> I think he's still alive. Everything seems... He has a... looks like he has a Twitter that he commented five hours ago. Alienation. Really? Well caffeinated for contact? Fuck. Is it because it's there's so much going on and it's super confusing? Or is it or just is it slow? Is it just slow and boring? Slow and boring. Probably not boring or it wouldn't have won our poll. It's not boring. Gotcha. Damn, well, there you go. Now you don't need to be <laughs> you don't need to be sad that he's gone because he's still around and kicking. 
There's a ton going on. Oh. Yeah. That is. We so... are going to need to go to bed soon. Look at me. I look exhausted. No, you look wonderful. I'm tired. Yeah, I saw like a video or like it was like a TikTok or something. It was just like, chances are we're going to lose all these great people in the next decade. Oh, I saw that. There was, was a ton of people. I was like, fuck, this is probably very accurate. Yeah, because they were all like in their 70s. Or like yeah, 80s or something yeah. like that. I was like, dang, that sucks. It was like Morgan Freeman and uh, Gandalf. Why can't I remember Gandalf's name? It was just a bunch of like people who were like already in their eighties and like, dang it. I feel like a lot of these sci-fi movies, Ian McKellen, thank you. <laughs> I feel like a lot of sci-fi movies can be hit or miss for a lot of people because um, it's either like not sci-fi enough or it's too, like some people think um, what was that one sci-fi movie we watched? Uh, Contact, and that's not like, it was, was the it same, not? same guy from Jaws, and it was, it was definitely old, Close Encounters of Third, of the Third Kind. Yep. That was nothing what I expected. Mm -mm. Um, yet some people are like, this is the greatest movie ever, and like, it's the greatest sci-fi and I, even though there was definitely a lot of parts that I enjoyed, it's by no means my favorite sci-fi movie. So I feel like just sci-fi can just, it's divisive, maybe more so than a lot of categories. Yeah, see, there's so many people that like are up there in age that are still with us. Then I, that video, I was like, damn, this is a super depressing video. I would assume I liked Paul. Or I, I assume I will like Paul. Tremors. I think it might be because you've never seen Tremors, have you? No. Yeah, so for sure Hanover because Tremors honestly used to be one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. We had a uh, like a video store that was like right around the corner, and I remember I would go there and get like a gumball and rent like Tremors. I must have rented that movie. My mom was like, "Why the fuck does he like Tremors so much?" But I probably rented that movie like five or ten times. Do so you have it memorized? The first one probably. There's oh, there's, there's like there's like fifteen Tremors. Oh. But the first driver has it's Kevin Bacon. Is it? Yeah, it's a great movie. What is it about? Giant like evil uh, worms, pretty much type things that huh. they like. They they can't see, but they can like hear. You can't move, pretty much. You can't make any motion or anything like that. It's it's such a good movie, man. I'm excited to to watch Tremors now. <laughs> we gotta please us. Check if Tremors is Paramount. Someone. Oh, yeah. Can someone not look that up? Or else it's not coming for a while. Hello. Algae? Algae? Tell us how to say it. Uh, I'm lost because I was on my phone. <laughs> no, you're pretty much, yeah. There's, there's seven tremors. I would definitely want to at least watch the first one. Tremor show with Kevin Bacon? That would be great. <laughs> huh. oh it's cool it's such a good movie universal all right we should be okay we should be okay universal gives us issues every once in a while but, but typically it's they never more... go hard they just take the revenue yeah they'll take the revenue which who which cares is okay we just don't want them to get blocked that's the bummer strikes. yeah when we had those like i think it was a it got up to nine claims in one day and they were blocked they were just all of them are 100 percent blocked and then we for whatever reason scream came back for a little bit but then it was gone again yeah 
and then it got upheld. We, like we we argued or disputed a few of them, but then we got a strike. So we were like, "Fuck that! We're not gonna just not even dispute." Um, but even the ones that we did dispute, they came back and were upheld. So every single one of those movies is Down. gone from our channel. I mean, I, we haven't I haven't deleted them yet. I'll probably just delete them soon. There's no point in having. It's just sad because like a lot of these videos, like they were some of our most viewed. Some of our most viewed, some yeah. of our most commented on, some of our favorites. Yeah. Some of our like. That's so sad. And that that was the shitty thing too is that we had multiple movies with Rambo and Scream all on our schedule. It must have been like. What is that, like eight movies that we were probably planning on watching over the course of the next couple of months? Yeah, I mean, Scream was coming up quick. Like, we were going to be watching Scream, like, every other week, basically, until January yeah. when the new one comes out. Same with Rambo. We still had three more Rambos to watch. So we still had three Screams and three Rambos and then a potential new Scream. So that was the bummer. Because some of this other stuff, like... Like, uh, all the entire Godfather trilogy is gone. Mm -hmm. At least we got through the whole trilogy, and at least it was up on the channel for a very long time. We were still getting plenty of views on it, but um, I feel like the majority of people who wanted to watch us watch Godfather got that opportunity to have it completed. There's so many... We get comments still to this day of people being like, when is Scream 2 coming? When is Scream 2 coming? It's just like... And I'm sorry, we're, it's not. It's just not coming anytime soon. Oh, interesting. Trailer for the Tremors movies on uh, YouTube. Or Tremors, tre Tremors TV show. <laughs> Darkman, I feel like I've heard of that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big guy. Everything that goes on our Patreon. They're all still there on Patreon. Yeah, they're yeah. all still there on Patreon. The full lengths and the edited versions, as far as I know. Yeah. That's the only thing. We might be able to just skip Rambo 3. Unfortunately, Rambo 2 is dead. Or we just do Rambo 3 on Patreon. Yeah. And we could do maybe 4 and 5. Yeah, because I think I think it the rights to Rambo were sold after 3. So that's why 4 and 5 should be okay. Good call. But I also know that they're hardcore graphic, means which means a lot of it would have to be censored or blurred for YouTube. Huh. Like, I literally think it's like there's scenes of like Rambo like ripping intestines out of people. <laughs> I mean, I, we've watched some pretty graphic stuff. Yeah. So we got Dark Man. We got some plus ones for Tremors and for something else up in the chat that I already forgot. Yeah, we've seen. I've seen Taken. I'm sure you've seen Taken. Oh, yeah. The first Taken's so good. I, I did see a lot of comments saying just skip Rambo 3. Stomach's uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time. Who is that? Sam Ram. Sam Raimi? Yeah, who, what did he do? Uh, he did, like, the Evil Dead trilogy, which we haven't seen yet. What has he done that we've seen? Spider-Man. So nothing on the channel? I don't think we've ever done anything on the channel for Sam Raimi. You've definitely seen Sam Raimi movies. But, no, I don't think we've done anything on the channel. Oh, yeah. Let's go. We'll, we'll go through our current schedule, which subject to change. <laughs> and then uh, And then we'll probably call it. So we can uh, get some rest before we got to go watch Contact. And apparently we need to be very well rested to make sure we understand what the heck's going on in Contact. Okay. So today, obviously, Dexter came out. Tomorrow is going to be Contact. Next week, we will be starting The Witcher. We're going to be watching Jingle All the Way. Witcher Season 2. Witcher Season 2. 
um, Dexter. We'll, we'll keep going with Dexter and Witcher will be our TV shows. Um, so yeah, Jingle All the Way next week and Krampus. Then the week after that, so the week after Christmas, we'll be doing The Prestige and Karate Kid. Um, and then we will be doing Tango and Cash starting in uh, January. And then we have a blank spot for something. Yeah, our schedules aren't really finalized for January. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we have a lot to finalize. But we'll most likely, uh, at some point in January... Throw Tremors in there. Oh, yeah, that's true. We can throw Tremors in there. So there you go. We'll do Tremors. We'll have Tango and Cash. We'll have uh, Tombstone, um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, I believe. Because that will be the runner-up on our Patreon. And the winner of our Patreon is Paramount. So we can't do that on YouTube. Yeah, winner was... Tropic Thunder, I yep. believe. Um, so that may never go onto YouTube. And then um, we have Monty Python for Ben Planet, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then Heat. Um, so the actual timing of those movies in January might change, but that's the general basis right now. And then, yeah. And after Dexter, we're going to do Midnight Mass. Yeah, so, so, so we now have three weeks left of Dexter, and then we'll do Midnight Mass. Yeah, so we finished up Bly Manor this week, which clears us up to do The Witcher. Because The Witcher comes out today. Yeah, which I really want to watch The Witcher, but I can't watch it until I finish watching Contact and editing Contact. So I gotta get through editing Contact so I can watch The Witcher. But yeah, so that's our channel. Lots of changes possibly, some more movies added in. And maybe the actual timing of those will be shifted around. But we can throw in stuff like Tremors and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I know we were uh, recommended a lot. Not seen it. Yeah. Not seen. Or we could throw in Ravenous. <laughs> Blank is Ravenous. Right. So yeah, we'll still be able to continue the Stallone. But it just has to be Paramount safe Stallone movies. Forbidden Planet. Yeah, we've had that on our poll since like the beginning of our channel. And it just never wins. It's came come close a few times. But we're like, we just got to do it. Especially with uh, Leslie Nielsen. Yeah. I know. Stupid contact. Why isn't The Witcher? Yep. <laughs> we're really loving Mike Flanagan. Yep. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and for hanging out and for chatting for us for a couple of hours. Glad we were able to jump on. You know exactly what we will be doing all day tomorrow. <laughs> so hopefully whenever I do finish editing contact, you come and, uh, and uh, hang out in the comments section. So we'll be seeing you there. And uh, we should, is next Friday Christmas, Christmas Eve? Eve? We will not be on. So I'm sure we will not be streaming next Friday. So maybe we do something on a different day next week. But yeah, chances are we will not be streaming on Christmas Eve. So if we don't see anyone until then, happy holidays to everyone. Stay safe. Enjoy hanging out with your family and getting some presents from Santa, hopefully. And um, yeah, we will see you all soon. So good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.